problem is obtain the sine half range Fourier series of the function f of x is equal to x square in x greater than 0 less than pi. Solution. The given function is what here? f of x is equal to x square in the interval 0 comma pi. So therefore, we need to find sine half range series, Fourier series. So sine half range Fourier series is given by the sine half range Fourier series is given by in the interval 0 to pi. 0 to pi, what is a sine half range Fourier series here? f of x is equal to summation n from 1 to infinity b n sine of n x. So, this is a sine half range Fourier series of the period 0 to pi. We will give equation number 1 where where b n value is 2 upon pi 0 to pi f of x sine of nx dx. So, this is the basic formula for sine half range series. So, using bn, we need to find the solution and uh, we will apply that uh, bn value in equation number 1 and we will see what happens. So, therefore, here in this bn, 2 upon pi as it is, integration 0 to pi. So, value of f of x is what here? x square. So, therefore, it will become x square into sin nx dx. So, for this we will apply because multiplication of x square into sin nx. So, we will apply Bernoulli's rule then we will simplify. So, for this we need to apply what here? Bernoulli's rule of integration by parts. So, then we will get a simplification of this integral now. So, we will we'll see the integral solution of this integral. Therefore, so bn is equal to 2 upon pi bracket. Keep x square as it is. Now, integration of sin nx with uh, respect to x, it is nothing but because integration of sin is minus. So, minus cos nx divided by n. So, formula minus differentiation of x square is 2x. One, uh, minus 1 upon n will carry and integration of cos nx is what here sin of nx divided by n differentiation of 2x is what here 2 so we'll go for next step plus i will write it down here plus differentiation of 2x is 2 minus 1 upon n and this 1 upon n will carry it will become minus 1 upon n square integration of sin nx is what here again minus cos of nx divided by n close the bracket differentiation of 2 is 0 so, we will close the bracket and we will conclude the with limit 0 to pi. So, once we get this, so we will think first before uh, simplifying, anything is going to be cancelled. So, I can say that the middle term having sine. So, because sine of n, if you replace x is equal to what here? Pi as upper limit, sine n pi is 0 and uh, sine 0 is 0. So, I can say that, so the middle term completely 0 if you apply upper and lower limit. So, therefore, so simplification b n is equal to 2 upon pi bracket. So, minus x square into cos n x upon n. First term simplification. Second term vanish. Now, this is 0. Plus into minus is minus. Minus minus plus 2 into cos of n x divided by n in n square into n. It will become n cube. 0 to pi. So, both terms are in terms of pi. We will apply upper and lower limit and we will see what is bn now. So, therefore, bn will be 2 upon pi. Apply upper limit. If you apply upper limit, minus x value will be pi. It will become minus times pi square cos of n pi divided by n plus 2 times cos of n pi divided by n cube. Upper limit minus lower limit if you replace 
x is equal to 0. So, 0 square is 0, 0 into entire term will be 0. First value will be 0, first term will be 0 minus plus cos of n into 0 is what here? Cos 0, cos 0. What happens here? Cos 0, uh, cos 0 is 1, 1 into 2 is 2, 2 upon n cube. So, therefore, on simplification, we will get bn is equal to 2 upon pi bracket minus pi square cos n pi is minus 1 raised to n divided by n as it is plus 2 times cos n pi is minus 1 raised to n divided by n cube. So, minus into plus is minus 2 upon n cube. So, on simplification. So, we will see what anything is going to be taken common or we will see what happens now. Now, b n is equal to 2 upon pi bracket pi square this minus sign I will write minus 1 into minus 1 raised to n whole divided by n. So, among this I will take uh, 2 common and n cube. So, 2 upon n cube I will take common among the above uh, in uh, second and the third term. So, what we are going to left here minus 1 raised to n minus 1. Okay. So, therefore among this again simplification 2 upon pi. So, pi square. So, minus 1 raised to 1 minus 1 raised to n it will become minus 1 raised to n plus 1 whole divided by n and here plus 2 upon n cube into minus 1 raised to n minus 1. So, this is the value of v n. So, this value will we can apply in the equation number 1 now. So, this is the value of v n. So, therefore, our equation 1 becomes equation 1 becomes so f of x is equal to summation n from 1 to infinity v n value so 2 upon pi bracket pi square into minus 1 raised to n plus 1 divided by n plus 2 upon n cube into minus 1 raised to n minus 1 into sine of n x into sine of nx. So, this is a required uh, Fourier uh, sine half range sine Fourier series of the given function f of x is equal to x square.